There we go. What? Oh, now I can talk. I'm allowed to talk now. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and welcome to Cripple System episode uh, 99 Balloons. Isn't that the right number? 99 balloons? Red Balloons. Red Balloons. Red well, balloons. no. Get it not? right, Brian. No. Red Luft Balloons. Yeah. Well, I don't speak German, so I, I can't oh. per- pro- say it properly. <laughs> well, and Nathan would have been. If Nathan was here, he would have made the reference. He would have also made the reference. So I just like half-assed the reference because I'm like, eh, whatever. <laughs> Although I do like that song. It, it's uh, on one of my CDs in the car for car trips. Is it? Yeah, it's on one of my... Well, that's good. Well, so it keeps you awake. Yeah, it, it, I love that song. Don't get me wrong. Okay. I was really happy when they did the like outtake for the Wedding Crashers, and they did the 99 Red Balloons. That was enjoyable. And I'm Brian. And what do you play? I play, I think, Cricks. I think? actually deleted... Well, I was deleting my list from my war room. I'm trying to refresh my brain, because <laughs> starting in January, I'm going to try to... I'm trying to get some lists ready from January. I'm going to start coming down Wednesdays again. I want to have a couple of lists I want to kind of play through. That's why I, like, but I like clear the old stuff out of the way. So I didn't like taint my uh, opinion of lists. So I've been like Makes purging sense. the lists, and I'm I have to recreate some tricks. I was gonna say is I, I just let War Room randomly delete them for me. Oh, <laughs> I never had that problem. <laughs> it used to be. I, I installed War Room. I have no more lists. Oh. Well, yeah, when you yeah, when you, you, you first install War Room, it, it gets unhappy there, with you. Yeah, I was. I don't. I don't remember why I had to, but there was something I. Hate. It was just annoying the whole well, I have two devices now, so I, I can I can save the thing. So the other device, yeah. So I, I saved the so I, I saved the one device. So yeah, I, do the device. I save it on my phone as well. I am Jeremy Valiant four one eight on the forums, and I play Ret and Legion. Although at the moment I play lots and lots and lots of Destiny, and then occasionally Nerd. consider thinking about War Machine. Nerd. I didn't even invite, I, I didn't nerd. even invite you to board games yesterday. I'm like, you know what? Well, this is not going to be. Well, we were hosting a party last well, night, so I wouldn't have been able to be there. busy. And I, I think, also helped get ready. You know, she, I talked to her during the week, and she says she's like, Jeremy tries, but he really does nothing. And you know, <laughs> I'm like, you know what? He can stay home and play Destiny. I don't need it. I was very helpful, for yeah. the record. Yes, you're, I'm sure you were. I was. Katie, wherever she is, is not going. Yep, you're helpful, Jeremy. Oh yeah. So Katie actually had to be at work tonight, so she might actually jump into the chat room for the Twitch stream, but. Obviously not here in person, which is a little bit sad. But yeah, Nathan's also sick too. Yeah, because yeah. so. there was a party last night. There the, was like, a party. the annual Shea party where vomiting two years in a row. Hey, no puke angels occurred. I told everyone when they came in the door. But there they, was puke. The guy said puke outside. There was puking, puking, but it was outside and not in my yard. All right. So I'm going to allow it. We were trying to get a poop thing going. Yeah, you guys were talking about poop angels. Since we said there were no puke angels, you said there could be poop angels. So, we, so your dogs may have actually been, been fed a lot of food. I saw the picture on Facebook. For the <laughs> record, one of my dogs shit in my basement because of that. <laughs> hey, I don't, I don't, I don't think it was. It I don't think it was because it of was, that. It was a cat. I think it was, that, that could have been Fuma. It was not yeah, that Fuma. Was, no, nope. no, that did not come from Fuma. No, it came no. from Arya and her stinky, stinky I don't asshole. Have, I don't. I, yeah, I was not feeding any animals. There's no pictures of me doing. I that. know for a fact. There's that no you pictures, fed them. but you fed them. I know I for a fact that hey, you fed them. No, I, I will roll over and say you fed them. The only pictures show Jim feeding both animals. <laughs> yeah, very proudly too. We were all. Yeah, like, he was very excited about it. That's true. Well, they, we, they were so hungry. <laughs> they were going to treat them. They were good. They were, the, they were the source of our poop angels. So we were. Uh, they were very hungry. It was a good party, though. It was the Katie and I. Last year when we had a party, it was all pretty much the War Machine crowd. There yeah. were a few of our like friends that know other War Machine players, but don't necessarily. You play had War a Machine. couple, yeah. Like Ted and his yeah. brothers came, but it was almost exclusively a War Machine thing. This time we let all of our worlds collide, and so we had Katie's work friends and my work friends and War Machine people and. Uh, that's how it stayed segregated through the rest well, of the it night. It did actually. The Cards Against Humanity game had group people from all three groups playing. How when, when I went down the one, well, obviously when they said when they when they brought that out, when I left because because yeah, you don't love you that game pl- at all. Well, it's the worst. I don't know if it's worse than Werewolf. I well, because no, was, Werewolf's pretty cool. I, I I like Werewolf. Cards Against Humanity is just <sighs> what? I don't know what's worse, Werewolf <laughs> or Cards Against <laughs> Humanity. The problem with Werewolf, it gets louder. Cards of Humanity can get louder, but it's... It usually doesn't. Werewolf always gets loud. Well, well that's because really, people were always drinking a lot. Before people were drinking a lot during and before we played Cards of Humanity. How long you guys played Cards of Humanity? Uh, I the, don't remember Was exactly. it more than 15 to 20 minutes? Oh, yeah. See, that's where... Cards of Humanity is fun if you play it once a year for 15 to 20 minutes and you realize you're not clever. We, we didn't go around the circle a full two times, but the circle was 13 people. So well, but usually people say let's just play the first twenty cards, and then it's like the third twenty cards, and you're like let's just play the deck. And that guy had like the mega box that was like the size of a house. 
expansions. So I get all I, hit all the expansions. Right? I just like, I imagine you know, we'll just play through the deck once. And I'm like, oh my god, does that mean? So you guys only played? You only did one? We had, no, we did like one and a half rotations of thirteen people. So we did like, I don't know, t- roughly twenty cards. It's still pretty good yeah. for your some of the people who play that game. Yeah, I mean, we played it long enough to have fun with it, and then we moved on to Telephone Pictionary, which is amazing. Which is amazing. Did you play that? And game? I have mm-hmm. all of. The, I know last year Nathan put all of the sheets up online, so yeah. I saved all the sheets that were. Two or three games of, of uh, Telephone Pictionary sa- played. I, we saved, Katie and I saved all the sheets. I was going to bring them tonight, but then I heard Nathan was sick. So I'm going to bring them to Nathan like Wednesday or whatever so that Nathan can put online again the ridiculousness that was the Nathan brought some picture. other game that he played it to. He printed off something. I heard I he know. played some spy game that didn't work because people were too drunk to play it. Did you try that at all, whatever that no. was? No. Yeah, no. Apparently never... the way it worked was everyone except one person knew where they were, like what location they were, and they were supposed to like carefully suss out who knew and didn't know but like a, Katie gave the example that they were in a school room and so somebody asked someone so you were at the place with a chalkboard and desks as well right and so the spy immediately knew where they were with the school room and then it was just over so like if you're not drunk it could be an interesting game but for drunk people it's a bad game because <laughs> you have to give like really subtle hints and like think about it like so so Cards Universe Humanity is the worst thing in the world it, it's not it is. Cause it is not. You, it's because you get, you get it's, it's apples and apples, which is you know. So Brian, here's the problem with both Werewolf and Cards Against Humanity for you. I'm over. I'm, I'm, I, I've no, no. Was, for both of them, your problem is you don't drink. I would never, ever, ever play either of those games stone sober. It would be a miserable experience. I 100 percent agree. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of games you can't play drunk because they're like the rules that is, like the spy game or just like you would never want to Terra Mystica you'd Hanabi. never try to play drunk it would be miserable I, I, I've tried it once it's Hanabi real, didn't work very it's well. real bad Hanabi yeah we tried Hanabi like there's a lot of games you can't play drunk and then there's this other opposite spectrum of games you can't play sober and Cards Against Humanity and Werewolf both fall squarely into that group I, I think you could play Werewolf not being drunk as well I've played it's, Werewolf and Mafia sober and it is not much fun well, it, like, John, it, it gets boring Really quick. Gen Con has the big mecca for like I, I think Werewolf and Gen Con is cool because they spend Friday night and the Saturday morning. They all go in their quarters and then and the thing I guess the reason I don't like Werewolf because it's always loud where I'm trying to do something else. That is annoying. So I don't like Werewolf because of the mechanics of Werewolf. I just like Werewolf because it's always fucking up my enjoyment of whatever else I'm trying to do. The other so thing it's is, not like I hate the game because of what it is. I hate it because it just fucks with my life. The other thing is both games can be played when you're super tired or super drunk because it turns out the two are very similar. Like, I've played Werewolf sober, but at 3 a.m., and it's also fun then. Did you ever do Werewolf and, or Mafia or the forums? Because Jim liked doing that on the forum. Like, there was never a never did that. Pe- people, never would, nah, well, people would do, like, Werewolf or Mafia forums. Like, people that's really big on certain, certain forums really? have sub sub chat, top sections where they just have game, online games and they play Mafia. I mean, Werewolf. I've done, like, online RPGs and stuff on via forums, but I've never yeah. done something like Mafia. Talk uh, talk Fantasy Football or Talk Blood Bowl, that, that mm-hmm. site. They, they used to have a... Yeah. They, I think they actually still have a specialized uh, yeah, forum for I Werewolf. See, I see that. a lot of other forums that have those kind of things. Things. But yeah, so anyway, so we played that. Uh, I tried to teach my mostly my work friends uh, the game, uh, ladies, and ladies and gentlemen. John and Casey were also there, <laughs> and then several of my work friends. But one of my friends was so blitzed that he could like barely read his cards. And one of my other friends was just drunk enough to not pay any attention to any of the rules and just guess at how the mechanics worked the whole time. Like, when you play <laughs> drunk ladies and gentlemen, people who are gamers, it works. Because the mechanics are not that complex for someone who's a gamer. Like, we've talked about how there's the barrier to entry. People that play a lot of games. So when we played with a lot of us drinking uh, the first night of Gen Con this last year, yeah. that worked. Because Cap- the captain was drinking, and Jen was drinking, and I was drinking, and Katie was drinking. But we all play games a lot. And so the mechanics are simple enough for us that it wasn't a big deal. Turns out when non-gamers try to learn that game drunk, it just doesn't work at all. Like, even a little bit. Like, it just didn't work. My, we, we stopped after two, two days. Like the end of the second day, we just called it and went downstairs. Like, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say you spent like you spent like an hour explaining that. I couldn't game. get them to pay attention enough to. It. I was like, all right, just the girls. I'm gonna explain the mechanic, and then all of the people that were were gentlemen would just like start interjecting drunkenly into my explanation. And it's like, yeah, no, I need the five of you to shut the fuck up, and hey, I'm gonna explain to these five people what they're doing. You tried. It was adorable. And then John brought bison, and I ate a lot of bison, oh, and it was yeah, good. The bison was amazing. And then someone fed the dogs a lot of bison, and they pooped. You fed the bison to the dogs. I you did not. fuckers. I refuse to give bison to the dogs. That is a waste of fucking bison. I, I gave little pieces God to the dogs. Man. Oh, Jim, Jim, they were, they were so, like, they were so hungry. Of, what you're saying is the one big piece of bison I had was less than the amount my dogs ate. Your dogs had yes. dogs. Your dogs yeah. more had bison more than bison than, than you. Yeah, you're oh, definitely, you definitely. Your dogs had more bison. You give your dogs like a, a quarter cup of food a day. And That's for, untrue. For treats, you give them regular dog food for treats because yes. they're so starved for they're food. They're so starved. No dog in America gets dog 
have food as a treat other than your animals. <laughs> Maybe our dogs are just well That's why when, when me and Jim are watch your house, we come over there, we just like bring steak and stuff for the dogs. They're just living high yeah. life. They just, they love it. <sighs> yeah, definitely your dog I just bring, had more I, steak. I, I bring uh, Fuma a live tuna I just threw out on the ground. <laughs> it flops around a yeah, little bit and know, she claws at she it. She has fun with it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a toy and a food. Yeah. She's, it's but a, yeah, it was, a, it was a really good part. I really had fun. I, Katie... Katie's funny because she really, really enjoys hosting, and she really, really has fun once people are there. But the day of, she gets super, super nervous that no one's going to show up or no one's going to have a good time. <laughs> so it's always really funny to watch that roller coaster with Katie. Her, She's like super excited. Is she on her thing, by the way? She's on. I think her she is. pumpkin. I don't like pumpkin. That pumpkin roll was that amazing. Pumpkin roll is amazing. I ate more than I should have. I also ate quite. And a bit. I don't like pumpkin. Did but you get any of the pumpkin roll? I had. I had a little bit of it. And it vanished yes, quickly. that was it, it, the, all the all the cream cheese was like butter. It was oh, so it was, good. It was amazing. good. Great job, Katie. Well yes, done. That was amazing. Yes. But so yeah, so the party was really really fun. I enjoyed. Next myself. year, everyone's invited. Yeah, we had. Gosh, I didn't do. A, I didn't do an actual. You had time. probably 30, twenty. Had there 20 were between plus. twenty-five and thirty people yeah. there, and it turns out twenty-five to thirty people fit surprisingly hey, I, well in my house. Almost six people left before me. All right, so Ted left early. Jordan left early because Jordan just wasn't. Making Another fun. couple left, and I snuck out with them. There was a couple that left early. Who, who there was, that? no, there was two couples that left early. They left. And I, I fought out one of the couples. Early. I literally, they got ready. I grabbed my coat and snuck out the door with them, so I have to say goodbye, goodbyes. I don't remember who it was that left early. I don't know. It was some of your one of your two. I think work it might friends. have been Katie's work friends. Like seeing Katie's work friends and my work friends in the same environment, it was quite clear that my work friends are much more like drink and play games, and her work friends are much more like. We're grown ups now, and we do grown up activities. Well, that's the accountants are so boring. <laughs> they well, the people she invited weren't accountants mostly. Oh, really? They were people that. So sh there's only like three accountants in her whole office. Travis the, and Carrie. Travis and Carrie don't work with her. Oh, Travis and Carrie were the ones who left. Okay, Travis. Thank they you. had to go Travis to another. Travis and Carrie had like three parties that yeah. night, yeah. so they yeah they left early. Party, party, party. But, but yeah. So most of the people from Katie's work aren't accountants. Like they're brokers or like salespeople. Like people you Sounds would think would so want a party. Boring. People you would think would be into partying, but apparently we just don't party at a high enough level for them. Yeah, oh yeah, I can see that. You guys, your partying bored me. Oh, I left. You went and got a soda. And <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, I'm out. It's boring. But yeah, no, it was. I I enjoyed throwing the party. I don't know. The problem is, if we're gonna have thirty people over, it's not something we can do all the time because it's fairly overwhelming. We're having another one in two weeks for New Year's Eve. Everyone's coming over your place for New Year's Eve. Ah, uh, that's not my understanding. Katie just Katie told me yesterday, New Year's Eve back I, to your place. I just saw Katie type yes. Yeah, I don't. I don't know that that's true. Yeah, no, I I, I saw Katie Only, type well, yes. We're gonna, we're gonna keep we're it between party. fifteen and twenty for New Year's Eve. <laughs> yeah, we're keeping it light. Yeah, surprisingly, it was not bad to pick up from this party, as opposed to the last party that involved puke angels and things like that. Like the picking up from this party was throwing away cans and bottles, which I can live with. There were there were definitely some dishes that were dirty, but most of that was also throwawayable. Like it was it was not as bad. Well, there we go. So okay. that's, that's our that's our first topic. Yes. Card, in summary, cards versus humanity is the worst thing ever. If Disagree. you play it and you're not drunk and you like it, you're so wrong. So you take you take two things that are offensive, you put them together, and then it's funny. But the thing is, all the cards together are funny, so you're not clever. That's there are the cards that aren't funny together. Very few, but almost all the cards used to humanity are all atrociously inappropriate. See, I used to think it was fairly random who would win, but last night we had one, we only went through like twenty cards, and one person had seven of them. So I think there's some element of skill involved. Well, I just don't have it. I don't. I, there, there's only skill in that game is knowing what if, like if, if me and Andy are put our cards together we, and you're the person who's picking, right. we have to know what you think is funny. Because I've seen people put combinations together that are hilarious, but the person that that's the picker yeah. doesn't have a clue what that person Wasn't just meant. Impressed. It was too highbrow humor for Your him. humor was too highbrow for Or someone, someone not my humor. My, high, my high, <laughs> it's too lowbrow. Okay. You used the word poop too much. And they, there is a lot of cards that involve poop or feces what? in Cards Against Humanity. Surprise. You yeah. would think you would like Have it. you seen the unboxings for the Black Friday stuff for Cards Against Humanity? Uh, they, it was poop. They, is it all poop? They, they they literally said on their website at, in their store that like if you buy this we we are just going to ship you poop, <laughs> and and that's what they and did they is did. they they shipped everyone bullshit. <laughs> I heard that that was a thing. But. Yeah, no, it was it was a it was a real thing. I, I don't mind that game that much. It, it's it is something that's it it's good like every six months to a year. Well, yeah, I haven't played I, I it in, and I will say this against like My your thing beard. is that they're all terrible things. The game that's the clean version of Cards Against Humanity, which is Apples to Apples, I think it's boring much faster than Cards Against Humanity. 
You mean because it's, it's, it's supposed to be witty and clever, but it's not like it's just not as funny. Like it's just not. I guess I, I get offended too easily by the people who think, "Man, I put the words poop and Hitler together. It was hilarious." Well, obviously, you're not actually funny. It's <laughs> it's poop and Hitler. It's going to be funny. You're not actually. So funny. next year. The same party. We're going to get Brian rip roaringly drunk and then throw him against cards. Against good, good luck getting and throw Brian him having fun. Good luck getting him. You, rip you haven't had the drunk. right combination of things to get me to get drunk. There's well, only see, certain things that can so happen. I can. There's there's this thing called grenadine, and what you do is you open it and you dump out half the bottle and then you replace it with a tasteless liqueur. You, you can find. <laughs> you know the thing is, I can't not taste alcohol. I don't care what you give me. I've never had a drink where I can't go alcohol. Well, if and I mix it, in something that's also cherry flavored, maybe you won't notice. You can you know you can try, but I've never. I have a whole year to test theories. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna just every time I hand you grenadine, it's yeah. have a different. Oh, if you actually here. handed me a drink with alcohol, in it, you wouldn't see, a I throw it in your face, and b I would probably smash the bottle. You wouldn't see me angry. Try to give me alcohol. Uh, no, I no, I would never just... trick someone into drinking, yeah. except I did do that to Katie one time. Well, she's a girl. She's supposed to trick them into drinking. I mean, if you don't have if you don't have a roofie handy, you got to yeah. give them the alcohol. Is that how that works? Yeah, that's, that's okay. what the website says. Pro tips. It's nice that we come back to that after last episode. <laughs> Start there. But anyway, so I'm like, All right, Katie? Uh, do we have announcements this week? I guess we could. Theoretically There's an event yesterday in Milwaukee. It started late. That's the announcement. Yeah, I heard that. Oh, who knows why? I mean, I some, sometimes store owners. No one ever knows. Yeah. It's like a store had a problem once. If, if they have a problem again, then it's probably a problem. But, you know, if, yeah. if, if it's a one-time problem, I can't yeah. judge a store. But right. maybe they have a consistent problem. They should stop it if they I do. Don't know. It, Nathan's not here, so he can't announce what he's doing on oh, the 3rd. Uh, Jan, yeah, January 3rd at Pegasus Games, he is running a 50-point steamroller event. And you get to pick a bond before in your list. So basically, you go oh. through your, the list of your you know the core books, and you can pick your faction bonds. That's kind of cool. One bond picking for one jack, which is kind of cool. That is kind of a cool idea. Because judges can now run events. Yeah. No, no, no. Brian. Yeah, oh, yeah. Judges have always yeah. been able to run events. You're they, just wrong. Yeah. You just didn't understand. Yeah, they didn't. There was some confusion. You're just wrong. You didn't understand what everybody else understood. Well, no, at just the all same of time. them. So, hilariously, <laughs> even though we pick very intelligent people to be judges, none of them understood that they were allowed to run events. So, they're not that smart. Well, <laughs> hey, I'll never, accuse judges, I'll never accuse a judge of being too smart. I've met, them, I've met almost all of them. <laughs> that's true. I've met that's a lot of fair. judges. Travis is probably the smartest judge I know. Wow. And that's the bar's pretty low. That is a low that's a bar. Low bar. <laughs> but he's the smartest of them. That's true. Nathan thinks he's the smartest of them, but Travis is actually the smartest of them. Hmm. Nathan's in the top five. Aren't there only like 12 <laughs> judges or something? Yeah, top five is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> he's above average. He's a C plus student. I mean, they're obviously above all the Texans, but you know. Well, yeah, that's not hard. But you know. Well, but Texas just breeds judges. Yeah. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, okay. Well, if we don't need any more announcements, that's the announcement. Speaking, uh, speaking of the Texans, okay. Keith is uh, moving back to Madison. Oh, yeah. That's not Texas. <laughs> at all. Dun, 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 dun. Suck it, Muse. <laughs> we get Keith back. He finally felt Whoa. the siren call of his home. He's like, man, I was the worst. I have to get the fuck out of this state. To be fair, he never stopped saying Iowa was yeah, the worst. I mean, it kept him. He was, he was trapped in Iowa mostly because uh, his. You know, Will's dick was shoved in his ass for so so hard, <laughs> twisted up in there. That he he couldn't pull out. He finally was able to snap free. And considering Will is in Texas, that's a pretty long dick. So good job there, Will. <laughs> but he finally dislocated. Jim is like, man, when when Keith gets back, we have to like detox him from the Texas attitude. Was well, like, the the funny thing though is, so Jim Jim for the past like two years uh, yeah. since Keith has been mm -hmm. down there is he he. After Keith left, he slowly degraded into "I'm never playing War Machine ever again." Yeah, it was yep. like a six months to a year. Yeah, it was a gradual yeah, slide. Yeah, and then just and, just and a very painfully annoying slide because he was unhappy the entire way out. <laughs> yes, <laughs> um, and when then Jim's unhappy. Everybody's unhappy. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, uh, and then and then finally Jim was like, like last Wednesday, he's like, hey, "I just came down to hang out. I'm thinking of playing again." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, well, we get not only do we get Keith back, the more important thing is we get Marshall back. Right, which Marshall, actually. I will say this. I think Marshall does more to build a community wherever he plays than any person I've ever yeah. seen. Marshall's like, it's impressive. Best. A, he's always there, which is good. Yes. B, he's a great guy. Yep. I mean, he's just fun to chat with. He's just a, you know. He's a good opponent for everyone from someone playing their first game to someone who's preparing to play in Masters. Yeah. Like, he literally can play against any mm -hmm. level of person and give them a good game. Yeah. Which is something most of us struggle with, quite frankly. Yep. That's very true. Like, I, I, am, I, I have a certain level where I can give you a good game, and if you're, like, not somewhere in that range, then sorry. Yeah, no, Marshall being back is pretty great. Also, yeah, so it's good. And, yep. you know, it's and obviously he'll be bringing his wife with him. Yeah. 
She is not a Marshall's wife. <laughs> Marshall is the wife. No, uh, no, but Jackie, uh, who's not a former Madisonian, but we're still excited to have yeah. her. So, and and we, we we're actually and Ben from Misty is talking about playing again. So we're really? getting, we're getting some of our oh, man. Uh, competitive our players. Madison back into Madison it. Meta. Because right the now rise. all you guys suck, and you're not giving me any real challenge. Oh. <laughs> How many masters have you in? <laughs> uh, I've been in MSC one to this year. Least, this year, uh, one, two, one, one, one. How many was I in? Zero, two. <laughs> you were in two, you were in one. I was in two. You were in Adepticon. I was in Adepticon, and I was in... Uh, oh, you're right. I was on the bubble. I was the, the one person out at Gen Con. You're right. Oh, one person out. I was one person out. I was... Oh. But shit happened. Um, it happens. That's true, too. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, else. Keith. So, yeah. Um, I, I'll be honest. All I can think about is Destiny right now. My raid group... Just cleared Crota's end tonight at like... Which is a new raid boss. The new raid boss at 5.30. So a lot of people have gotten to Crota. Like the first... There's like uh, three phases prior to the main boss. The first one gives you loot. The second one gives you loot. The third one doesn't give you loot and is by far the hardest of the first three. And then there's Crota who's just a motherfucking sorcerer. Like he's actually a sword knight. But like he's just the unbeatable challenge of the raid and so like everybody's beat the first two and gotten the loot drops and then a lot of people beat the third one but you don't get anything from that and so then our group is one of the the fairly early groups as far as i know like there are people online that have definitely beat it somebody posted beating the fight with the final boss in six minutes which is by the way fairly absurd and obscene but, well, there's always that big race, like because WoW yep. had, has their big raid out. And the now, world first. Well, well, yeah, because in WoW you have like you have your you have like Destiny has like regular difficulty and heroic difficulty. Not for the new raid. The raid they release normal. Heroic doesn't release till January. Okay, but yes. But so WoW, you come out with a normal mode, then you have a heroic mode, then you have a mythic mode, and then then def- underneath normal is this what's called Alafar, where you don't even, you can just like everyone randomly queues and just shoves people together. Yeah, it's basically called spectator mode because it's so easy. But let's yeah. pe- let's people who doesn't who don't want to join guilds see the content. So right. it's cool and they get some gear and let them see the raid is cool. Let them let them see let it, let let them taste it. Let the little people. But know people what it's are like. guilds are still always always trying to race to be the first mythic. Per- yeah. well, L- luckily the people we play with we don't really care about mythic, so we never yeah. we're never in that race. But that's like you have because then you have to like then it's walls a job when you're mythic's trying to like hardcore. Yeah, when you're trying to be that guy. Yeah, yeah. No, we want to we want to at least see the content to play the content. We don't have to see it in. In an yeah, extremely difficult setting. Now, you guys are in the same raid group together. Are any of the other locals in your same? Is Jordan no, in your raid group? No, everyone else who plays. No, Jordan WoW... plays fucking Alliance. Fuck him. Yeah. Oh, okay. The thing about WoW with a lot of people who play War Machine now played WoW before War Machine. Like when mm-hmm. I log in, I'll see I'll literally have fifteen friends at any given time playing WoW, every different server. Yeah. You can cross play with people out of the same faction. So I can sure. like I play with Keith even though he's a different server. Okay. You can do some stuff, but we I haven't tried to write on the other I don't know if we're raiding if the person who's the raid leader has to be the leader to get invite them or how that works exactly, but you can do some cross playing mm-hmm. but but people have so all these pre established friendships and guilds sure. already because they played before. It's like having a hometown you came from or something yeah, like that. That's like, kind really of a wow it is it's it's a, it's a place before no. Yeah. That's kinda of cool. We Brian and I we've been playing in the same guild for since since vanilla. Yeah. No, I mean that's that's so. most of the people I talk to. That's kind of the way it is. And I will say the one thing I miss about Destiny is like beating those things and playing those things is fun. And yeah. honestly, just chatting with Jr. and Alex was the most fun. Oh man, I, I I raid with Jr. and Alex yeah. re- really regularly, and it's just the most fun hanging yeah. out with them. That would be the only reason I really play Destiny is just chat with those guys. Like, if I if I would start playing some PS4 games, I would just join the chat with them just to chat with them while I'm doing oh, whatever yeah, game yeah, I'm yeah. doing. But yeah. uh, and you definitely should do that. Yeah, I need to play some more PS4 games. I see you on the PS4 every once in a while. I'm you're never PS- playing anything. You're just logged in. Well, I'm I'm either logged in, but like today I was in the PS4 playing. I was I was playing Netflix for uh, seven hours today. Yeah, I watched Netflix on my PS4 as well. Yeah. I actually got some invites from people to join their party chats while I was watching Netflix. <laughs> and all I can think, like, I don't, I, I'm not offended when people do that, but all I can think is, if you're inviting me to a party chat and I'm watching a television slash movie on Netflix, do you really think what I want to do right now is chat? Like, yeah, <laughs> it seems unlikely. <laughs> Netflix has really been uh, raising their bar in the terms of like uh, comedies and they've added a lot. Of they've been adding a lot of their own content. Yep, uh, their own so. content is like their big thing lately. Yep, and Longmire. Yeah, they Longmire. Netflix is getting Longmire. Oh, oh are they really? Oh. Yeah, it's going to be wonderful. But yeah, so that's unfortunately mostly what my mind is on is 
So yeah, I mean, well, it's because the new content dropped last Tuesday. It's, win so. it's winter time. It's also that. So basically, you have a choice of you know either we're playing game nights at certain game nights, mm -hmm. or we're home and it's cold and we don't want to leave the house anyway, so we're probably playing video games. Right. Foggy outside. outside. Oh, so it's I mean, foggy. yeah, it's ridiculously well, foggy. Awful. In so I'm either inside. I'm not. I most of my my own's already painted, and what's not painted, I'm not motivated to paint. So I'm just playing. We're all just playing video games. Yep. I mean, I, I will say I played board games for eight hours yesterday. I do need to go through my bag I got back from you guys and see how many models got broken and who's the boss. They were all pretty good. Brian said only a few of them are completely dismantled. Well, no, no. <laughs> the, the, only, the only one that I know, and she was pulled from the bag, broken it in the first place, was Bethane. What? She wasn't broken when I put her away. She was broken when I pulled her from the bag. <sighs> what, she, just their claws you, came off? Yeah. You, you have her in a very thin... Yeah, like I was almost too. out of foam room, and I was like, yeah. no, Bethane, you could totally fit, don't worry about it. Yeah, no. <laughs> now, the joy of shoving a mile into the foam, you, where it's tight but not too tight. Uh, a life story. Life story. Is really what the, how, how You've it is. ever experienced that, Brian? Not really. But uh, <laughs> it's always been, it's a different thing there. We don't want to go, we don't want to describe that. We don't, don't want to go down air. that path. No. It's very dark. Dark. It gets dark quickly. You need a flashlight. But, uh, <laughs> yes. Boop. But yeah, so <laughs> obviously we don't have a lot of content tonight. We're probably going to jump to Zapdic Grumble soon, unless you guys have. Yeah, was, was, there any, was, was there any like idea, any, any comments on our in our in our Twitch? Not, not exactly. Jeremy's watching it. I've been keeping half an eye on it just because I knew Katie was on there. I didn't know if she'd yeah. be giving me crap. I was I just refreshed right now, so I lost everything that was on there. Oh, that's we funny. lost it all. I wanted to make sure that our stream quality was still it's good. good. So. It's it's nice that your upload and download are separate, so you and I can watch it, and it doesn't actually impede our upload, or at least it shouldn't. It shouldn't technically, yeah. um, but if we yeah. had like a ton of things on it, I I, I was running into troubles the yesterday with, um, <laughs> I, was, I think my computer started downloading all of its updates that as I was playing WoW. If you download a bunch so, of updates, it's bad. So I was like, why the fuck is everything all red for the for the upload download? It's amazing it how when I'm I, I might be just sitting at home or at work and I'm in a good mood. Then my computer is like, you're going. I'm going to restart right now, and I I, I actually turn into a murderous site, serial <laughs> killer rage. I do not want to. I mean, if, if a computer wants to be like, hey, you should restart because of an update, you can give me that information, but you don't fucking dis make that decision for On me yourself. Yeah. That is a decision that you do not have. No one has the authority <laughs> to restart my computer. With me, I don't care if it's going to save the fucking world. I choose when my computer <laughs> fucking restarts, not you, computer. And I just get so fucking irate immediately as soon as it just tries to fucking restart itself. Yeah. Katie says that uh, Amazon Prime is uh, unplayable trash. That is 100% <laughs> true about Amazon Prime, by the way. I... Wait, you guys, you guys get recently or something? Uh, her, her mom has an account, and so I they use our Netflix. We use their Amazon Prime. Yeah, okay. I, I've, used, I've used Amazon Prime. I've been, I've been okay with it. The one I actually really disliked it was Hulu Plus. Yeah, I, Hulu, I, Hulu Plus, you're paying money for, like, you're, you're getting shows that are probably already available on Netflix. Well, or, no, or on demand. Or on about, demand. The thing about Hulu Plus, on demand is, is pretty good. Like, if I, I, have, the, I, have, I have cable, mm -hmm. but I also have Hulu Plus, and I also have Amazon Prime, and I also have Netflix, which is really sad. That That's I have a little all. ridiculous of all of them. <laughs> but uh, Hulu Plus, so, well, you can play my Amazon, she was playing my Amazon Prime. Yeah. yeah, Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime is like Netflix, but worse. But worse. But, yes, correct. But it's also, it's much and it's free. You get Amazon Prime because you want the shipping, so you get this video feature, which is neat. Right. The video yeah. feature is just like a side add-on for them. But it's, Correct. And it's not bad. The problem is Netflix has a pretty good menu system where you can search through. Mm -hmm. Searching in Amazon Prime is poor. Miserable. But once you get used, like I'm. So it's used also to really it. easy to rent something in Amazon Prime when you think you're watching it for free. I've done that a couple of different times that I was like, oh, that's available for instant watching on Amazon yeah. Prime, and I click it, and it's like, okay, you just pay two dollars because they have their Amazon Prime set account set up for like. When I tell you to buy something, just buy it. Don't ask oh, me 17 I, my, times. My, my, mine is mine always pops up for the pin code, but it, that's how I know. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a set to just don't bother but me, I just buy it. it. And so, like, I've bought several movies that way, and I'm just like, it's like $2 because yeah. we're renting them, not buying them, but it's still like... I do give them money because occasionally if I'm watching a TV show and I miss an episode, I can go back and just buy that one episode. That, that I do like about Amazon Prime is, like, I, I think I talked about seeing The Flash, yeah. and I missed the first episode of The Flash, oh, yeah. and I thought I would be able to catch it on on, on demand. In fact, when I went oh, to the website, when I went to the website, it was still there. I'm like, ah, I'll just let it queue up and uh, or my, my uh, video recorder pick it up, and uh, then... Nope, it wasn't there. <laughs> you got to be really careful with Hulu. Like, I've gotten, like, I'll get busy or whatever. Because I've, I've told on air before that most of my Hulu watching is at work. Yeah. So, like, occasionally I'll get behind. I'll get actually, like, busy at work. 
and I'll fall behind in a show, and it's like really bad times when one show falls off the end of the queue. Yeah. It's like now, what do I do? Crap! You can Amazon Prime. That's what you I can. You can rent it on Amazon Prime, or there are other less legitimate ways to do. Yes, that as well. but we're adults with real jobs, so we don't <laughs> do that anymore. But uh, Hulu Plus, I don't mind Hulu Plus. I mean, it's got commercials, but it's like I a lot of times, which I'll do, which I sometimes do at work or sometimes I'll watch a show. Then if it's on. A channel. Then the next morning, I can watch it on Hulu Plus. Mm-hmm. You can't. Amazon Prime is a, or Netflix are a full season of time yeah. a year later. Yep. Yeah. Hulu Plus is the next day, and Hulu is eight days later. Correct. And, so yeah, you know. exactly. And, and I do like the thing is, if there were a lot of people I talked to at work about a given show, but like you, the people that I chat with about shows are like you guys and stuff, and you guys all know I watch them eight days later. Yeah. So like the Flash Arrow crossover that just happened, like yeah. you just didn't tell me what had happened yeah. because you knew I'd be watching eight days, and now I watched it. and It was amazing, and I really enjoyed it. You have or have not seen it yet? I've seen. I've you seen see, them. he doesn't watch Arrow; he watches the Flash. Oh, you he... just watched the Flash? Okay. I just watched the Flash. So I don't watch got, Arrow. He only got half, half of the, the crossover. He only got half of the Arrow cape joke. Yeah, <laughs> the Arrow cape joke was amazing. And it took two episodes. It took to, two to... episodes to set it up. Yeah. So oh, okay, so. I have to ask a question. This sure. is probably spoilers for people listening. Eh, spoiler alert. I already asked Brian. Did yours, for for when the Flash and, and uh, Arrow, they were fighting, doing sure. their big fight, et cetera, et cetera. And, and the then Flash Their first big fight, yeah. Yeah. And then they're like, hey, there's a bad guy out there. Let's go t- get, take care of him. And then commercial. And then come back from commercial. The guy's in one of the one of the chambers already. And for me, he just got. And so I said the same thing in my edit. It was basically they like they they, they were fighting because the Flash was contaminated. I've actually noticed that with Hulu on several shows this last week, something happened on Hulu where every show when I came back from commercial break was the length of the commercial break into the next segment. But I don't. I had know, it happen several times. But I don't but, know if I. I but I, I, I DVR the Flash. I watch him. So, I, so I, maybe it's some. I watch several CW shows. I wonder if it's a problem on CW. Maybe maybe something broke. But but it was just it was kind of funny. I. I where they didn't show any of the fight at all with the main <laughs> bad guy, they just showed him in jail already. And like, kind of oh, hilarious. yeah, oh, okay, all right. I guess. And I know a lot of viewers watch or our listeners, but people who watch. We have like three viewers, so they yeah. probably don't watch it. Yeah, but we don't have a lot of live truth. I don't. What do we have a count on our live Twitch? Does it tell you how many we have actually watching? It's fourteen ish. That's not fourteen. Bad. You guys should be playing WoW right now or something. <laughs> hey, when, so I when we we tried Crota's End on Wednesday, the day after the content released, and I Twitch streamed it just for the hell of it. I didn't like really announce it. I, w- I told Katie, "Hey, Katie, announce it." And Katie, I think, failed a little bit. She may have posted it on Facebook. Katie doesn't know how to fail. <laughs> she yeah. can only. Katie can't fail. Yeah. Exactly. So anyway, I don't think that it was very well announced. But we had like three or four people watching she the stream. She opened your door. Screaming, hey, everyone, turn on Twitch. <laughs> but I was doing the new content, so I didn't have the comments up or anything because we were like mm-hmm. seriously involved. And none of us watched ahead of time to see what the mechanics were. So like we were all just like fumbling like idiots in the dark, quite literally in the dark for the first phase. Oh, I'm sure that was <laughs> great to watch too. It was like a black screen of Jeremy a going, black screen. Hey, 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 hey. Oh no, a hole. Crap. <laughs> no one watched. I'm surprised, I'm surprised Ryan would have had it, had it been studied already. So, well, no, we, we all agreed we would wait to because we were running at the day after release. We all agreed we'd wait and figure it out ourselves because it's more fun that way. We figured out all the mechanics up to Crota. We did get there, but um, but anyway, so there were like I think at one point because it, it flashes up every once in a while when you're Twitch streaming, like when someone joins or leaves, it pops up the number in the corner. But I was mm-hmm. paying attention to other things. But I occasionally saw I at one point saw the number four, so I know we had at least four people watching at one point. And I feel really bad I didn't Twitch stream today because instead of looking like drunken idiots, today we actually cleared Crota. <laughs> it would have been a much more interesting Twitch stream to watch. No, but for no. people that like Destiny, it would have been. Uh, no, no. I, I, to be perfectly honest, I like watching people fail <laughs> like, in video games. It, it is more entertaining, especially within, when there's good commentary. Now, when it. I twitched, and I wasn't commentating very well, that's what I think would actually be the right way to do it, and I don't think you can do this, but if you had Twitch streaming, and if it were set up so that you could have someone who's not playing commentate while you're streaming, but you can only chat in the window. Like, you've chatted in the window when I Twitch streamed before, mm-hmm. but it's not the same as, like, if you could voice over. Like, uh, what am I thinking? Like, commentator mode, like, spectator mode in, like, the Blizzard games. Like, we if could, something like that existed, it would be really cool. We could, we could do something like that. You just need a whole different setup. Right. It would you, it be instead of using, equipment. Yeah, instead of using the, the streaming that's directly off the PS4, you'd yeah, have to go, go into computer. another machine yeah. and then I like run to the audio. If, we, if you, people are watching our stream, they'd see us talking, but actually there'd be someone in the could be in the corner just going, those guys are idiots. Like Cartman Bra? Yeah, like, 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 yeah exactly. Like Cartman Bra. <laughs> <laughs> that would be exactly what it would be. So I haven't been watching the stream. I don't know what's going on. But um, but yeah, so I really enjoy Destiny, and so I wanted to share that with people. But 
it, I don't think. What we're about gonna Planet be watching Side it. Two? You told everyone to play Planet, Planet Side, Side Two. two. I, I've been playing. The problem is the Destiny. Like I talked about Planet Side Two, and I really like Planet Side Two. And then literally the expansion for Destiny dropped last Tuesday. So since last Tuesday, I haven't gotten into Planet Side. What about Side. Dragon Age Three? I I have logged into that with Katie a few times and played that. We have not beaten it yet. What about Hearthstone? Uh, Hearthstone, I have played several times. That's you, you know, I play Hearthstone because you guys see me in the yeah, Blizzard we see you thing. Log like, in. Why is he playing Hearthstone? It's like it's they had a gob, they had a they had oh, they, their expansion also just dropped. Actually, the best part about the expansion is what there's All there's the a whole bunch of, of failed up. failed uh, failed videos of people buying brand new cards. It's like I'm gonna buy sixty cards and then thunk and then. Five they, seconds later, we're like, oh, I bought all the old cards. Yeah, they bought like <laughs> like people spent real money to buy like like a hundred dollars worth of the new cards. Only yeah. they bought the old cards they already all had. <laughs> <laughs> and the videos in the oh. there's videos online from oh. the perspective of like somebody was like Somebody's streaming. They're streaming. like, this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna buy these new cards. Oh, and, then, I see. and like and instead you see them go, oh my god. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> it's pretty good. Because <laughs> the store was uber fucked up the last, the first like 24 or 48 hours of the expansion. Like I jumped in like the day the expansion dropped, like within a, within a few hours of when it went live. And it was like, hey, you got a pack from the new set. And I was like, excellent. And I opened the new pack. And, like, oh, you the, get a free pack? You get a free pack. Oh. Well, the, it might be over. Okay. The, 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 there is no There was way. a certain amount of time, but it may, right. it may still be going. But anyway, so I got my free pack. I opened my free pack. Oh, cool, new cards, whatever. Um, and then I noticed the store was open. I jumped in the store, and I was like, oh, I don't need coins. I'm not going to spend money. I, and, and, like, there was the button to buy the new packs. I was yeah. like, yeah, I could. Screw it. And I went in and just played some games. And then I, I saw, like, the, all these videos come up on Facebook about people failing. Yeah. And I logged into Hearthstone that evening after work, and the store was just straight closed. They just closed the store because so many people like fucked up, or they may have had an issue on there, and I don't know. But like the store was just closed for another twenty-four to forty-eight hours. It was just like you couldn't buy packs if you wanted to. My problem with Hearthstone is I would have to buy packs. Like I, I would, I would play a game and like, man, these guys have all these crazy cards, and sure, I could, yeah, I could take it to time to get the mm -hmm. cards, but I. I, I, my, my whole thing is time versus money. I just don't want to waste the time. The thing that it. helped me for Hearthstone is I played during the beta. Yeah. And so, a during part way through the beta, it was easier to get coins. For part of the beta, and B, they let you bring all your cards from the beta into the into the game. Gotcha. And so when the game started, I had a leg up on everybody that was like all, quite a bit of real dollar money because I'd been playing the beta for I don't remember a couple of at least a couple of months. And when the beta first dropped was Christmas when I was visiting my family, and so for 24 hours for four straight days, my account was being played because my brothers all wanted to try the game. And so there were five boys rotating through my account. Like it was, my account was just not idle for like four straight days, <laughs> and so and every time they and every they wanted to buy packs, so every time they got a hundred coins, they just bought a pack. So by the time those four days were over, I had bought like thirty packs, <laughs> <laughs> nice. all none of it with money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I what I did for myself is I relegated myself to play only a little bit, just finish like the quests, and then that was done. Yeah. Whatever the daily quest. There's was. new quest. There's a whole new quest line that you have to. You need 700 coins to unlock each phase of it. And there's like ten, nine phases. Or for 25 dollars, you just unlock the whole thing. Yeah. And there's super hard challenges, and they unlock cards as you beat them. Kind of like Naxxramas. It is Naxxramas. Yeah. Oh, you already but, beat Naxxramas? Uh, I haven't beat Naxxramas. I'm like two wings in. I thought you meant Naxxramas. I, just... I, I didn't know if you'd seen Naxxramas. I didn't know how recently yeah. you played. No, I, I've, I have a lot of them. I just, I just did. Did the quest, and that was pretty much it. Yeah. I do have an announcement. Okay. It's really uh, we have the Crippled System store has been updated by Nathan. Oh yes. Uh, do we have the the, the unplayable, unplayable trash. trash? Which I need to buy that shirt. One thing people need to, uh, one thing that I didn't understand about this island is because I'm old. The technology is weird. Is when you look at a shirt on our web store, it'll it'll show you some color. It'll, like a lot of the shirts default to white, but you can literally change the colors of all the shirts. Like, yeah. Just because you see a white shirt or black shirt, you can make that shirt green or purple or red. You can even throw that same logo onto like a, a hoodie or whatever you want. It's completely yeah. customizable. It's, actually, it's pretty slick. I didn't realize yeah, how really cool. ridiculous. I thought I figured, I figured, okay, here's a t-shirt. That's my only choice. But you can go crazy and customize all that stuff. Somebody yeah. commented about my stream, uh, Tau Beast. They want to hear everyone else. I thought when I did this very last stream that only four people watched, I had it set up so you could hear my whole fire team. So if anyone actually watched that and can let me know if you could hear everything, let me know. If you're doing the fire team off of Destiny itself, it, it'll have all the voices. It has what? to be in in Destiny because we yeah. were in party chat. It has to be in Destiny. Okay. Party chat doesn't carry over. That was what I did unless wrong. Unless they've made a change in that okay. in the last so I'll couple have to make months. sure next time I stream we do fire team chat. Yeah. There you go. Such is life. It's it's kind of annoying. I I would really like to do some some of our own like let's plays of of playing you know yeah any game. Well, uh, that's why I do Destiny because it is like a like a different side thing. There's gonna be a Shadows of Mordor uh, DLC coming out in the very near future. That I'll, be, that I'll be I'll be playing that quite a bit. 
I need to play that game. So good. I, I want to so buy it, and I know that I don't have time to play it, so I'm not buying it yet. At least, yeah, at least, yeah. Okay. When I know for a fact it will be cheaper if I wait, yeah. it's silly to buy it now and then not play but it until the get, point in time yeah. where it's cheaper. Yep. Yeah. At least a game like, I, and I've told her, I've mentioned, I, re, I, re, I uh, recommended this last week, but, or two weeks ago, the Telltale game, Borderland game. Mm-hmm. Like, that's an amazing game. At least that game, it only takes you three hours and you're done until the right. next chapter. So it's not like, it, like Shreds of Mortar, you're, you're talking 20 plus hours you know, to play. Well, you probably beat it under 20, but if you win the achievements, maybe 20, 30. And, and uh, yeah, if you, yeah, yeah. Never mind. I'm just yeah. mumbling. So that's what I had. Zappity. <laughs> Uh, we're ready to zap it up. Do you want Talby, me to, you want me to pull Talby it up? says that uh, he could not hear everyone else. Oh, okay, yeah, we were in party chat, so and that that's makes sense. That, yeah, that's that's, that's the one anno- thing about that's obnoxious because like there's all these settings inside the game that are like share my chat with like the, the Twitch stream and then in the Twitch stream app it's like make sure my chat is all shared, but apparently that none of that they, actually matters. I, I if I remember correctly, the reasoning behind that is because of there's there's laws in Japan that prevent people from being streamed without their knowledge. So and if you, you can have be streamed them. from the party chat without knowing them chatting. Yeah. Uh, that's, I suppose, fair. Okay. Stupid Japan. Are you going to pull up Facebook or twi- Twitter, Andy? I can pull up I got one. the Facebooks. All right, I'll pull up Twitter. There isn't that much on here. Ha <laughs> ha, suck it. And then we can double check the Twitch stream once we're done there. All right. We're going through that right now. Uh, there is nothing on Twitter. Literally nothing. All right. Twitter, you Twitter. Oh, no, here we go. Here, there are a couple of Twitters. I apologize. I was you, you had to figure it out. It, it reloaded and then it reloaded and then it said, "Oh yeah, no, really, I have to." So I have to. Uh, bu- 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 how are you going to cope with Keith coming back next year? Already covered. <laughs> We're gonna go. Exactly. Already covered. We're probably gonna open up another podcast for Crippled System. Holy crap! So so we'll have. Well, Keith I don't know. If he, I don't, you say that, but I, I don't. I don't, I don't yeah. know if he's gonna. I don't think to. Keith. Well, Keith might enjoy a break. Like I. I mean, yeah. we enjoy podcasting. We all do, but we've all thought about taking a break in the past before. Like it's it's. It's a lot of it's a big he's, got, he's got a kid. Not you, Andy. Yeah. Everyone else. Well, I yeah. Sometimes uh, I wish people would just take a break. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with, with his kid coming, he I I oh that's true. Yeah. I expect he will be a guest appearance once in a while, but I fully don't expect him to be a uh, prominent member. But that may change. Who knows? But I just assume he'll be the occasional. That's fair. All right, and then we have what's the best model unit in each faction that never sees play and is perhaps just awaiting a little push. Was, uh, did they send it to, uh, at Muse on minis? Was that no, they minis? didn't. They yeah. actually, t- it says at Crippled System and Zappity Grumble hashtags right there. Weird. Yeah, that's like they... That, that is very weird. Every something, faction. Every, well, just uh, pick your faction. What's something you want to see that's just not quite over Victorian, the top? Victorian Swordsman. Okay. Would be the would be the they need one. they need something. Well, to get them well there. they said they, they, they need yeah something. they needs a little push. Oh, uh, I'll say uh, no. I guess they would have their push. Uh, I'll say. Annihilators. They need something extra. That is an untrue statement. They need a UA. You are a lying they son need, of a they, bitch. They need something. They're not, they're not, they die. They're 1313. They're terrible. They die all the time. No one likes they them. They die in droves. You're a lying they son of a bitch. They need stealth slash and corporal. Okay, so my answer is going to be strike force for Rhett. Needs a little push. <laughs> <laughs> Revenant crew for Cricks. They're just right there, but not quite. Well, Revenant no, crew. Revenant yeah. crew. I, th- I would actually agree with that with Brian. Yeah, they're, they're close. They just fail. They, they, uh, they, yeah, they fail. But they're, they're, they're kind of cluelicious. Yeah. Uh, for Rhett, I think Desters. If Desters could get, like, the, not the Dester Thanes, but the Dester unit, if, if they could get a little something, they just need a little something. Uh, the, the Fearless from uh, Virus is not really quite enough. It, it helps because when that unit breaks, it sucks. But, like, I don't know. A, a UA that gives them reform or something would, would maybe make it them get there. The problem is that they, everything they do looks like light cav, and then they're heavy cav. Like, that's the problem with Desters. It's unfortunate. Raiders are kind of slow. So Fuck you. Fuck you. They need to be fearless. <laughs> then they'd be playable. They're kind of unplayable currently. They're unplayable trash? Yeah. Without... When you do the Cricks walkthrough, you're going to say they're unplayable trash? How about you, Andy? What's one from your faction? Uh, I mean, there's mercenaries with all the character units, uh, like like Sam McHorn and the Double Dogs. I think they could... I agree. The double dogs could use some more, a little love. Something, uh, you know, nothing, nothing really too huge. Um, otherwise, for trolls, uh, I mean, well, definitely, I, I like the look of the sluggers. Mm-hmm. Sluggers look pretty damn cool, but I'm really not sure what you could do with them to make them better. Uh, they're just, they're, yeah. For Legion, we need a solo that gives all infantry in a ten-inch bubble Pathfinder and Fearless. No, that would make our infantry playable. No. <laughs> Zappity. Good crumble. That's all we had on Twitter. That's it. You said there was a couple. 
Yeah, so two is a couple. Oh, okay. That's how, that's how math works. What does your faction want for Christmas? A solo that within 10 inches <laughs> gives all our infantry, Pathfinder, and Fearless. Pathfinder UA that gives them stealth and corporal. <laughs> hey, you asked. <laughs> Plus two speed. Sluggers that have uh, a built-in snipe and a move and shoot. There you go. Run, run and gun? The worst move and shoot? It's probably. <laughs> that, that's, that's probably what, what they'll get. get. They'll that probably get that. Get, yeah. is run and gun. <laughs> yeah. Is that funny? <clears throat> Grumble. What do you think the effect would be if any um, on the local and pro metas if there were no War Machine podcasts? Be a better world. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> I think that. Well, you'd have to get really, I mean, really to have an impact, you'd have to lose form, forms as well as podcasts to have any kind of impact. I think it would be an impact without podcasts. I think that it would exist much more in local metas than the national one. Because the thing about the national meta is it happens at cons, and all mm -hmm. of the same people would still be there, and all the same people would still talk to each other. So it wouldn't matter if they were podcasting it, they'd still hear each other. Like, most of us don't listen to each other's podcasts, but we talk to each other at cons anyway. Yeah, who has time to listen to podcasts? <laughs> so, but I think local metas, especially small local metas that don't have people that travel, would be very, very much affected. I don't know if it would be good or bad, but I think there'd be a big effect. Mm. Yeah, I, I, think, I think, well, I think most people need to not put so much weight into uh, the experts of, of the podcasts. I mean, we're, that we're, would be nice, but the thing is, like, these people that don't travel to events, like, the people that get the all, the, not just all the playtime themselves, but, like, I can go to an event and I can watch 50 games. Like, I don't, but I could watch 50 games in a weekend. Mm -hmm. And, like, you just don't get that breadth of experience, that breadth of knowledge about the game if you're just playing in a local matter where you meet on Tuesday nights and oh. play three games. Okay. Well, no, what, what I was saying is, like, uh, you know, just... Like there's certain podcast celebrities that that uh, people put a lot of weight into whatever they do like is me. is golden like me yeah nobody like, yeah. <laughs> like you no <laughs> I no the Jeremy, the Jeremy heads out there I have just a huge fan base don't worry about it <laughs> <laughs> so your ego has got a huge base hey hey you got to be good at something that's what I'm good at <laughs> fine all right Zappity. grumble. Who has the most baby face under all them beards? Uh, I've heard that Andy has a baby face, although I've I never do. seen it without a beard. No, you probably won't. Yeah, but that's what I've heard. Shave yeah. it off. No. Beard, a, beard <laughs> like, a beard like that is not trivial to grow back, as it turns out. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, just, just do what you did last time. I mean, you had a very pro plan for that beard. You just got lazy and stopped shaving. And, and, and then it worked. What was my pro plan for That was beard? your pro plan. You just stopped shaving. Just stop shaving. Yeah. Yeah. See, it was very, it was very it weird. Worked. Yeah. Was, man, but, but I had a situation that involved me having to get the, the beard shaved, and I was getting a new job. Yeah, well, you're gonna so, get fired soon. Yeah, so I'll probably get fired. Yeah, <laughs> so if I get fired, I, I'll probably be. Uh, it depends on where I get the job or where I apply it for the new job. Uh, we'll determine if I shave the beard. Yeah, that's fair. You're getting a new job, like definitely. No. Okay. Well, I was like, I hadn't heard about that. What? Oh, well, his, his, eventually, eventually, his, when my position is eliminated, uh, where I work, his team will get fired at some point. Not, some not, point. not Andy himself, but his the whole team, team will just his, his the whole team, team will just be gone. He's on a yeah he's downsized, as yeah. it were. Yeah, we're we're uh, we're the only two people in the company that does what we do, and which makes it seem like man, that's that's a, that's a really important thing. Except what they do, except what they do is unimportant. <laughs> <laughs> what we do is it, it is important um, to our customers, but. It's not really not important, important to, to manage, the, yeah. yeah, that much at that that times. Is. But yeah, I also have Katie. Katie says that my face is not attractive without a beard. I don't know <laughs> if she means that it's a baby face, but I I shaved it off when she first knew me, and she told me that until I grew my beard back, she didn't want to hang out with me. <laughs> oh, somebody has mentioned that we could have a, a war machine battle and have a loser shaves beard. I, that doesn't work for me. No, I Andy, would not all get, Andy would not get involved. Yeah, I would not play. I would just, you know, like, th that type of stipulation means I don't play. Yep. <laughs> Zappity. Grumble. Um, some jackass says something about an event on the third. We covered that already, John. We already talked yeah, about that. Yeah, we already talked Jeez. about that. Listen to, hey, not, listen hey, to the podcast. Go back in time. Maybe show up to the podcast. Actually, he could have been there live. He could have watched it live and, and seen, then tweeted it. And, yeah, he could have been, been, been on the stream. It was 18 minutes ago. We've been live for over over that. Yeah. Dumbass, yeah. Nathan. Dumbass. Jeez. Nathan. Rydia fan. Yeah. A little sick. Zappity. 
grumble. <laughs> uh, what is on your wish list for this year's Steam sale? I want the Christmas, the New Year's Steam sale to not have any games that I want because I have too many games already right now. I need them to hold that sale in like February or March. That's not going to happen. Right? I'm aware. <laughs> I can't remember. what There's a couple of PC games I really want that came out mid-year that I didn't buy because I was busy. But I just can't. The one thing we're playing WoW is other games. It's hard to think of other games because it's a commitment. You people that play WoW, I'll, I will say this. Like, I used to have friends that I saw occasionally. Okay. And like we'd get together. And like these friends, like live, they live pretty far away from me. It's like a whole block and a half. Yeah. So like a pretty long ways away from me. Yeah. And yeah. I used to see them occasionally and hang out with them. Mm -hmm. And then they got on the WoW. They the got on the crack. Hey, you, hey, you, hey, you, hey, you play your out. destiny. It's your fault for hanging out. I board game for six hours before board games on Saturday. Yep. I've been playing board I games every weekend. I was hosting a party that day. You weren't hosting saying, a party at that moment. Every weekend I have board games. Every weekend. You're I have been to several. but this, You've been to a couple. When we showed up early for the party, you were doing something, and Katie was actually the only one cooking. That is true. When you guys showed up, that is true. Yeah. I'm just saying, I'm still... I'm Every... Yeah. I do things plus well. Do you? Yes. You're just the one who's always, I can't make it. I'm too cool. <laughs> on Mondays, and we're going to be, be doing some game on Friday. I'm, I'm going to have a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday board game thing going on. Don't we have War Machine on Wednesdays? Oh, you people do. <laughs> I'm going to be doing it probably. I'm, well, the person I'm trying to do it on used to do a different ad. I do it on. It, do it on. Yeah, do, do, do. I'm going I'm to try to do a, a every so, other Wednesday do, do okay. board game thing. But then I have every the Friday board game thing and then every Monday board game. I, st I still really want to try uh, the new game you got. What the fuck it's called? Shadows of Brimstone. Shadows of Brimstone. Played, I really want to play it. We played it on Saturday for four, a couple hours. I hate, I hate you so much. Yep. Even Andy liked it. <sighs> I knew I was going to like it. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's, Obviously. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it is Warhammer Quest. Jim liked it. That was... Uh, well, it, you know, Jim likes Warhammer Quest. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Jason liked it. And, and oh. you know Jason likes more hammer. I don't think Jason listens to our podcast, but if he does, Jason, you left a shirt at my house, which I'll have for you Wednesday. He didn't, was he only wearing one shirt? He, he, he had a dress shirt that he apparently took off because there's a red dress shirt at my house now. Yeah, weird. I'm pretty sure it was his. My board game is there. I'll get it someday. Your board game is there. So he left a shirt. You left a lanyard, which you said you didn't. I asked you about the lanyard, and you were where like, "Oh, I was playing with it with Arya." Cake. A lanyard. Like a like a oh. uh, like a, a thing you put over your neck that you can clip like a attendance badge to. I don't have. I didn't have I one. Whose lanyard it is then? Yeah, you you were the one that told me you were playing with Arya with it. No, I wasn't who playing brought, Arya with who anything. Who brought a lanyard to a party? Yeah, I don't know where the lanyard came from. Then. So anyway, a lanyard got left. A scarf got left. I know whose that was. A shirt got left that I don't know who it is, but I think it was Jason's. And you left your board game. Yeah, like a lot of things got left. I left my cake. You did leave your cake. If you had brought it, I would not have been sad. But now you left it, so I'm eating it. Well, I want my cake. You can follow me home and take it. I guess. I don't know. I might follow him and take his cake. That's fine. I'll have to go buy my own cake. Oh. It was a good cake, though, right? It was really good. It was a good cake. It was, yeah. I left for it. It was cake. a good choice. The cake was there the whole night. You could have had some. But at no any one. Time. I wasn't gonna be the first person to take some cake. I mean, there was still. I was getting all the bison. I was really drunk when I cut up the cake. Yes, know. you were. <laughs> I should have left and just took the cake with me. You should have. That like, like immediately. I'm taking my cake home with me. <laughs> <laughs> just go put it in my car. It would have been great if we looked out the window and you were in your car, just <laughs> <laughs> on your face, and you come back in covered in cake. So our next episode is 100. It is. We, it is. Is, 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 it be, is. Is it gonna be special? No. All right. Fair enough. Aww. Is any of our episodes special? No, not really. Have you listened to episode 10? 10 is pretty. 10 good. was pretty special. 10 yeah. was actually probably one of our probably best our episodes best we ever made. It was our best work. Only episode with police involved. <laughs> That's exactly. True. I mean, exactly. Uh, uh, sorry. Zappity. Grumble. <laughs> uh, the pants party. What? This is pants party. The pants party. Zappity. I mean, from no pants party, I understand, but yeah, we didn't even talk about anything about Steam except for Jeremy oh. wanting Steam. Oh, yeah. I can't. I, I can't. About Steam. I asked you guys to go. Ahead. I don't. I know there's some games that came out this year. I just can't think of what the games I want. Like when the Steam sale goes on, I'll just refresh. I'll look at it every day. And go, oh yeah, that game I'm gonna buy. Because yeah. I don't buy. I don't buy a lot of new games on the PC the last uh, last half of the year because I know they'll be on sale for half off or quarter off on Steam sale on Christmas time. So I'll buy them then. And, and there's also the Steam sale during the summer too, which you know. Yeah, but the Christmas one's so always the most ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, always, the Christmas one's always. But yeah. I've been doing some board games lately. Like the new XCOM game comes up, comes up for the for the for the uh, board game very very soon. And we'll be playing that a lot. No, no. 
I'll be in we my bunk. will be playing yeah. that a lot. No, I will be fucking there for that. <laughs> you <laughs> actually, you. you have an amazing game table coming in the way. You okay, have... so the new gaming table might be here like next week or the week after. By the so, way, so you know, if we go game there, you'll still you and Kate, you'll still be on. Well, we're busy doing our thing. That is we'll, not we'll true. We'll be gaming without yeah. you guys at Although, your place. To be fair, we do already. Katie's committed us to two different weekends in January already. Look at that. I mean, we... I shit you. I don't know what. Okay, this is not my fault. I don't have friends. Katie. And so I don't drag us out of town is on she, weekends. Is she still on here? Do we know? I don't I know. Think Probably. So. When I you graduate high school and you move away, you don't talk to your friends anymore. They're distant past people. Maybe you see them once a year and go, hey, we should hang out more. And then you don't hang out more because you have new life friends. The high school people go away. That's just life and it's sad. Oh. <laughs> so, I mean, I should not be friends with you, you two anymore? You should definitely not be friends yes. anymore. Yeah. That's true. Exactly. And I shouldn't talk to Chris anymore? Nope. nope. Or Jeremy? Yes. Nope. I don't what? know you from high school. No, no, I, it's a different Jeremy. <laughs> uh, well, it was you, me, and Chris. You're I mean, not the only Jeremy in the world. <laughs> you, me, and Chris. I'm the only important you, one. You, me, and Chris at least do the no, same things together. Alex and JR were talking about a friend of theirs called Drunk Jeremy today, by the way. And then it turned out it was me. <laughs> they were telling Megan that she'd never experienced Drunk Jeremy. Yeah. And I was like, Drunk Jeremy's awesome. And then they said, oh, no, J Drunk Jeremy's a different friend of ours. And it turned out that was JR saying that to Megan, yeah. not to me. And so I was trying to figure out who this other friend Drunk Jeremy was. <laughs> it turns out it was just me because Megan and JR don't drink. Yeah. So much like Brian, JR has experienced me inebriated. And it's an experience when you're sober. Yeah. yeah. Look, you, you already got two weekends booked in January. This is really? why you. This keep, is not my fault. This is why you miss out on these board games. And I, and I'm even doing board one, games. One of them is not even people that I really know. I so should, maybe I'll just skip it. And I'm getting things during the week board game. Board I know. Game so the during the week, the during the week thing is hard because well, I haven't even bothered invite. And I haven't. I know. I'm aware. I'm not, the, the, the 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 during the week thing is hard because Katie's work right now is kicking her ass, and yeah, so she I comes hear. home every night wanting to just like fall into a puddle. Like I I am pretty much solely responsible for whatever we're going to eat and it can be whatever I want because she doesn't care as long as I get food yeah. to our house in some way and taking care of the animals because she's just like a puddle when she gets home and I'm lucky if she's home by 6.30 well, she's, like she's just working her she ass and that's, and that's why we don't record on on, any on a week now, the week yes. <laughs> And I understand for right now that's a thing, but... Uh, yeah, and that'll get better. She's actually interviewing right now. All the interviews are done. Like, she's getting ready to hire someone. The problem was, on her team, there were three people. Her and another gal, and then their, their boss. And their boss was fired, and the other gal quit, and then Katie was promoted to the boss position. So she's a new boss, and also doing the work of three people. So that will yeah. kick your ass, yeah, as it turns out. But stop making weekend plans. Yeah. We have the 18th, we're doing the thing yes, with... That would, oh, that's one of the two plans. So one of the two, plan, one of the two weekends is with you guys. Right. The other one's her friend's thing out of town. Gotcha. So. Let's, Wait, what? You know about this. You were involved. You're on the text. You were on oh Sam. God. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, my I, no, he sent it a group text. It was a group so, text. So it was very confusing when I started getting your guys' replies first, <laughs> and then I got his message. That's pretty funny. Yeah, it, I responded, like, immediately. Yeah. That was that was very confusing when I got that. Yeah. But, yeah, I, have, we, have we mentioned that, by the way? I, I don't know that's really worth we're an gonna, announcement. Well, but. well, I guess we haven't finalized. We're probably, well, I guess we're talking about We finalized about, the date now. On the 18th, January 18th, which is a Sunday, we're going to be doing an all-day live stream uh, IK, IK RPG, RPG. role-play session. Uh, yep. Travis slash Sam is going to be our game master. And it'll be the five of us on the podcast. Hopefully everyone who will take a little bit of time beforehand up. Be a little so familiar with how to play IKEA. <laughs> well, I played it, and well, you played it. We played it at War Machine Weekend, but Nathan and Andy. Nathan and Andy, had... you've never played it, right? Yeah. Never played it. I own all the books. Yeah. <laughs> so I would get, you know, make a character before that. Well, you made a character already. I so did Katie and I. That was, mostly, that was mostly for Andy and Nathan. Yes. Make Andy and Nathan need to make characters. Yeah. Before that day. Well, I guess I... it takes place in Kador. He wants the majority of the party to be human. Katie, Brian, and I all pick human characters. So if you would like to be a non human, we are allowed to have one or two non-humans in the party. Oh, I could be an Ogren. It has to be one of the from the original books. So Ogren's fine, mm -hmm. and it has to be someone who would have a reason to be doing a mission in. Uh, I'm sorry, a, not Kador in Signar. In Signar. Oh, it it takes place in Signar. Oh, I, I don't want to be in Signar. I was gonna say if, if I needed a reason to be adventuring with you guys, you know, if I was an Ogren, it's because I had a fuzzy hat. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be that Except would be my now reason. We're in Signar, so that no, no longer works. Yeah. No. No. Yeah, um, it takes place in Signar. He told us he told us it takes place in Signar. We must be mostly human, and we must have a reason to be helping the Signarians. Yeah, I, did, I have no reason. Katie is going. Katie has already chosen to be a highwayman. What is it, lord or highwayman nobleman or something like that? Yeah, it's uh, her, her backstory. Aristocrat is aristocrat highwayman. Aristocrat highwayman. So apparently she's Zoro. <laughs> Well, Zoro wasn't really an aristocrat. Though. He was though. Yeah, he was a big. He was. Well, he was like a Spanish. 
Well, I'm saying like his identity as Zoro was Correct. not was not. Correct. A, well, and a, we're not really sure how Katie's kind of. identity is going to work with the two. But it's the important thing horrible. for her was that she has a horse. Yeah. <laughs> that was literally one of her important qualifications was that she can get a horse. <laughs> it was a quality thing. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody was asking if we're going to stream it, and uh, barring anything horrible, we're probably yep. going to stream it. Yeah. Yes. And if that goes and well, we'll it may later. be a thing we do every couple months. Yes, yeah. that is the hope. Unless we're all just... If it turns out that the five of us are atrocious gamers and we shouldn't ever IKRPG in public again, Well, we Travis may murder us all. He might. Well, our oh, hope... Yeah. I mean, so there, there, there's two different games being played. Travis is playing IKRPG. The five of us are playing Can We Break Travis's Soul? Oh, no. I, <laughs> I already know that we could break Travis's soul. Hopefully we don't play that game because it would be a violent answer. <laughs> There'll be donuts. He'll be fine. Don't worry about it. There'll be donuts. <laughs> we are going to start at like 8 in the morning. Yeah, we are starting at 8 in the morning. So we're going to be driving over there. If we're on Brian we're doing, time, we're, we're leaving it, here we're, at no, 5. No, we're doing it in Madison. We're, he's coming oh, to he's Madison. Oh, he's coming to Madison? That's gonna, why we're starting at 8, so he can go home at a reasonable hour. Where are we, where are we doing this? Here? I assumed at my new gaming table, because it'll be here by then. Yeah, but I want to stream for your... Your basement is horrendous. The table's going to go in my living room. Like, we're moving our living room furniture downstairs, and it's going to be a gaming setup in the... where the, the couch and stuff I'm are now. So, so your neighbor's walking across, we'll walking past, so it'll we'll be like, what the fuck is going on there? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be using the gaming table all the time. You guys, it's an amazing table. It's an amazing table. You guys are going to be, like, out visiting Katie's friends every weekend. And, and, and for Brian, like, Brian's going to really appreciate it. So the way this table's built is underneath, there are cup holders and food trays, not mm -hmm. on this, like yeah. on a whole another surface than the table. So yes. anyone can have drinks or food or whatever, and none of it gets anywhere near the table in Brian's games. We need to have Sean Sullivan come over and play Shadows of Brimstone over at your place. Yeah. So he could spill beer on it, too. So <laughs> your, yours would match my Warhammer Quest. <laughs> well, at least your uh, game's not out of print. So anyway... Yeah. Zappity. Zappity. Grumble. I think left. <laughs> I don't know. I'm waiting for my phone to load right now. Loading. Uh, favorite movies of the year? Uh, I enjoyed the new Hunger Games. Um, I mean, Mockingjay. Ga Guardians of the Galaxy is Guardians obviously, of the Galaxy a, is obviously there. It's the yeah. top three of the year for sure. What would not... beat Guardians? Well, I can't. I need to like. I need to like. I need to see the list of that, movies. That would of the be year. something we we should do as a review. We should do show. a 2014 interview when the year's officially over. We should like in January or something. My do. problem with time is I I can't. It's all abstract to me, so I can't remember what came out. What well, we can look it up if we're doing yeah. it in January. But I know Guardians is a top three answer. Guardians no is definitely what. top three. I've heard Interstellar is really good, but I haven't seen it yet. I've heard about that too. I, I want to go see it. Yeah, me too. We should we should go. I told Katie to go see it at the Dollar Theater, theater once it's there. So if you want to come with me, you're welcome. Oh, to. you should probably see that in normal. I'm at, at this point. It's been out long enough. I'm just going to wait. It's going to be at the Dollar Theater before too long. It is, it's, the visualness of it is so. I want to see it in the theater, yeah. but I don't but care. But a Dollar, if it's a dollar theater, theater. The Dollar Theater behind Pegasus is not bad. Like it's yeah. not an IMAX, but I wasn't going to pay to see it in an IMAX. I, I just wasn't. I know, Brian. It's breaking your soul. I'm I didn't see the IMAX. Oh, I, did, I didn't I see know. it in IMAX either. I wouldn't want to see it in IMAX either. But it, to me, it, it everything that I've heard about the movie is, is it's you seen visually. It I haven't seen it yet either. But I yeah. heard it's it's heard visually it. visually and this weekend making. we get to get we get to go see and be disappointed by another Hobbit movie. Yeah, I'll be seeing that with Katie's family when we go visit this weekend. Oh, that's this weekend. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. Yeah. I think it comes out like Thursday midnight, doesn't it? Probably. Pro oh. Thursday releases don't always get pumped up like Thursday at eight p.m. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it used to, well. It used to be Friday morning, and then it was Thursday at midnight. And it yeah. was like midnight was a thing for a while, yeah. and now it's like Thursday when you get off work at four. Yeah, I was like, what? Which I'm fine with, to be honest. It's, it's, yeah. it's more convenient. You're not really a schedule. midnight person, but I won't be seeing it Thursday or Friday. I'll be seeing it with her folks. Yeah, hopefully, her folks have a her family in general has a tendency to like either not make plans at all or make plans and then just break them willy nilly. So if I'm like. If I wait to see it till we're there at their house that weekend, and they're like, "Oh, I don't really want to go see it," it'll be like, "Okay, well, you guys have fun doing whatever you're doing. I'm gonna go watch the movie by myself." Bye. Yeah. Like that's what's gonna happen. I'm not like not seeing it this weekend. Yeah, I will no, lose my shit. Yeah. So. In the Japanese. Uh, uh, there, there were a couple. There, in there was a couple on the on the um, stream. Did, did Andy paint anything yet? No. Nope. That's a quick answer. Who's going dumb to be question. dumb question? Who's going to be the first colossal slash gargantuan caster? I mean, if you, if you just mean huge bases, they exist. Are but, they talking like, like the like way Karchev's a uh, warjack and Bethane is a war beast? Yeah, I, I would. I would honestly say that uh, Thagrosh is already a, 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 a or not a colossal, but a gargantuan caster. He's not though. 
But, but I mean, he works really works really freaking well. well. If what with they mean is works really well. I agree. Yeah. Thagrosh is but amazing. I, mean, they, I think they, they mean like one out of. Oh, are you talking about like, a like epic Bethane? Yeah. Epic Bethane climbs into the archangel sort of shit. It's gonna be Rashad. He's gonna have more tacos, and then he's gonna be. Uh, It'll be a lot. He'll just be a big blob with his little head on. Hey, everybody! He just comes with his own like little miniature set of a taco stand yeah. next to him. <laughs> yeah, it's a little. Yeah, it's like a little uh, food court with a chef in the middle. You know, if somebody has some artistic talent, I want to see that drawn up. That would yeah. be kind of fantastic. <laughs> um, somebody asked another Muse on Minis question. How do you feel about the new Protectorate meta, Vindictus Weapon Masters, and Amon Vigilant Spam? I have Go no ask idea. Uh, how do you feel about Dragon Age Origins? Uh, uh, that was the first game, and it was really good. <laughs> Dragon Age 3 that just came out, also really good, if that's what you meant? Probably. Um, the, the Dragon Age 3, I will say this about Dragon Age 3, is... It doesn't. The the fights do not feel nearly as tactically challenging. Like there are fights that you just lose, but you can't do much to change it. The way that the like you can freeze time and you can interact with the environment, but you can't like you could in the first one where you could be like, all right, you guys spread out so we can drop a spell there. Like it just doesn't work as well. Like most of the fights, even though you've got that tactical control, break down into I can win this fight and therefore I could win it in real time, or I can't win this fight. Like for instance. There are several fights in the in the first area you go into where you're like a level two that are level twelve. Yeah, it's like you, they're they're, you, you, they're intended you, for you to run away from them. Right, you, they're just intended to run away and come back. A couple of people have managed to cheese them out, but it's not really what the game's designed for. Like mm -hmm. if you're within a level or so or a couple levels of the enemy, then you can win it, pausing occasionally to do things and mostly play it in real time. And if they're not within a couple of levels of you, like the game's really not built to allow you to exceed that challenge. It's just not really there. So that's a little bit disappointing, because the first one was so much that way. Like, every fight, especially when you had it so the spells damaged your party, felt like, okay, i got to be, like, super careful or my wizard's going to just blow up my whole party sort of a thing. So it's still good, but it's not quite the same. Um, I didn't really see much else there. Yeah, that's about all I see. All right, recommendations? Yep. All right, Jeremy, blow our minds. Blow our minds with this recommendation. I recommend that if you have not purchased the expansion for Destiny, A, you should buy it, and B, you should play Destiny. The expansion is called The Dark Below. How much is it? The You can buy it standalone for 20 or both of them together, the, both this one and the next one that's coming out for 35 Okay. I, the, I, I, that believe, was, I believe that's true. That was not to, not to poo-poo on your, on your recommendation, but no. that was my only slight boat of contention about the expansion is that it only adds one dungeon. I know. Uh, two two strikes. It, if you're on PS4, it's two strikes, yeah. one raid, uh, three missions, one of which you can't go back and repeat. Oh, really? One of the missions, the very, the very first mission you do for Crota's End is a really, really quick one where you just like, kill some guys, grab a sword, do cool things with sword, fight a sword knight with uh, the burden like in the raid so you can't mm -hmm. jump and stuff. And it's like, and that's over, and you can't go back. Because a bunch of the bounties you get from the new gal involve killing things with a sword or killing someone who holds a sword. And oh. so it would trivialize all of those bounties if you could just get them on that mission really quickly. Oh, it makes sense. And so makes that sense. mission can't be re-entered. No. All right. All right. Well, that was a very impressive of a recommendation, Andy. It's up to you to raise the bar. My my recommendation is is somebody that I know our Australians fans might have uh, some idea who they are. Clark and Daw. It's a it's a it's a comedy team uh, that does kind of a lot of satirical uh, humor, kind of kind of like what John Stewart does here. Okay. Um, but it's they only come out with like a new new thing every Thursday. It's only two minutes, and it's usually an interview between the two. Uh, one of them pretending to be some member of of uh, their the government or so. Um, hilarious, <laughs> hilarious banter between the two. Um, it started off way back in the day, uh, like ninety one. I had a interview between the two guys where they were talking about the front of a ship falling off. Uh, d uh, just do a YouTube search for front fell off. Okay. And you'll find them. It, it, they, I've been watching them pretty much nonstop. You're Australian, you said? Yeah. What's there, there's this Australian. Australian has some pretty good shit coming out of it. But, uh, yeah, no. That's that because places. everything that's good has to flee that terror infested island <laughs> but Clark and Daw uh, they have their own channel on YouTube and it's it's just awesome and once we get off the air I'll play just the front fell off for you it's, okay it's awesome I do have to go bring Katie dinner at work as well <laughs> you have to bring her dinner at work she's like oh. I'm still here and I'm starving <laughs> it was a text I got while we were on womp, air womp, Katie, Katie not having her best day ever 
You know, I, I bet she'll be happy when she comes home after working an entire an entire Sunday. Yeah. Well, she, at least she's salary, so she, she's getting paid for that. Yeah, at least she's totally getting it. Okay, so I, I'm going to pull a Nathan and have a second recommendation. Oh, There's oh a God. video that was shared by Meg Smith on Facebook about Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. And I'm going to put the link in our thread. And if you guys haven't Is seen this shit. Is that the one where I haven't seen it? It's I was interested. It's fucking hilarious. All right. It's fucking hilarious. The Axis of Awesomeness is the Australian band I was thinking of, by the way. They play amazing. Axis of Awesomeness. Yeah, they are amazing balls. Like, I think they're the greatest thing in the world. But yeah, so anyway, I'll have to put that link up. All right. Here. My recommendation is simple. My recommendation is you go to Netflix. If you don't have Netflix, I don't know who you are. Yeah, and what then you, ju- you, you just search. Go to the go to the go to the comedy section, and don't even go to the comedy. Don't go to the movies. Just like, just listen to some new comedians because they keep putting specials on on their thing. And yeah, yeah. it's <laughs> so good to go. You know, I don't know who the comedian is. Let me play him. And you know what? Maybe he's dumb, but you can just stop it because it's Netflix and it's free. No, you're not paying for it. But man, when you like discover a new comic, then you all you do is you spend like the rest of the day trying to find every special that comic is done. Hopefully, there's <laughs> more of them on Netflix because you can stum- stumble across yep. such ridiculous awesomeness. For comedians, and it's, and I like it because I can, I can, if I'm in my room right now, I play a little wow. My what? T- I know it's shocking, but on my TV, I, can, I just go to, I just put on stand-up comics. I don't, you don't need to watch it. It's all about listening. Yep. I mean, sure, some of it's visual sometimes, but, yep. sure, but in usually, general, yeah. Yeah. it's all about just listening to the different comedians. And Netflix is so good about having so many live comedians and that just discovering true. new comedians on there is always a blast. That's yeah, like, that's what I was saying before. Is it, it seems like they they really really up the up the ante on how many they bring yeah. in. Yeah, and they just, they just I mean I mean Jim Jeffries I've I've known about but they they put he, he got a bunch of new specials on there. Yep. And, I, oh, it just just, I just got so to ridiculous. That. But there's so many there's but there's so many other comedians out there you just can stumble across and unless you don't like to laugh and then you know just go play cards versus humanity because that's what you deserve. But <laughs> otherwise. Uh, you just go to Netflix, listen to this I should have made that my recommendation. Right? <laughs> oh, it would have been hilarious because you would have been wrong. Your opinions often can't be wrong because opinions are opinions, but that's a wrong opinion. That's, an exa- that's a, rare exa- there's a rare example. The rare example of an opinion that's actually wrong. Yeah, it's a rare one, but it's, uh, it's, it's accurate. All right. Well, thanks for listening to episode 99 of Crippled System. Yep. We look forward to having an atrocious 100th episode. So. 100 episodes. That's sad. Yeah. Katie yep. and I will probably be like tired and out of it because we're going to be driving back from her parents' house that day. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it'll be a high energy we, podcast. Because we, we have to do it next week. Cause we, if we miss next week, we, yeah. there's all the holiday nonsense. Yeah, the holiday nonsense. It has to be next it week. It has then. to be next and we week. May, I, we, we probably will record through the holidays. We may not. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, we'll, I don't know. I don't know. We'll uh, After 100, we might have like a, like a two week break or so. Supposedly, uh, Clockwork Vox is coming back like very, very soon. Oh, yes. They're, they, they, they give a date. Yeah, they're coming. They have their I year. think they gave a date. I don't remember what it was. Do we broadcast on the same time that they do? <laughs> well, yeah, they, they don't do it live, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, no. So, yeah, we'll have our 100 episode. There'll be balloons. We might. We, we might. We should oh. bring in 99 red balloons for our 100th episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's just going to be horrible Gosh. audio of just like a lot of squeaking. We were gonna do I was going to just get a balloon and then do the like letting air out. We were going to do a gift exchange, like random get names in a hat. And we never picked names. So oh, I, I never did that. Yeah. I may just bring gifts for people next week. I might, I might not. I Let's think see. that's I think that's what we should do. Do we, we want to do that part of the 100th episode also? Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, it's like th- four days before Christmas. Katie and I will have to think about. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to be able to afford much because I had to get a new car. You did have to get a new car. I haven't seen your new car, by the way. It's no, the one outside. It's, it's the one outside. It's, There's it's, a parking lot. It's the newer It's the newer one out there that you haven't seen here before. <laughs> it's red there. No problem. Good job. I think because I, I, I didn't notice Nissan. your car at my place either. Did you drive over to my place? Yes. Yeah. With his new car, not his old I, car. I guess I guess I wanted to know it was your car because it's a new car. Yeah. yeah. That's the whole point of being yeah. new. I noticed Jim's car. It was shocked that Jim drove over. Yeah. yeah. And when I that that was the thing I noticed when I w- pulled up at uh, at Pegasus last Wednesday. I was like, that looks very much like Jim's car. It is. And Jim's I went inside. Car. Jim's inside. I'm like, what the swore- fuck are you doing here? Because everyone came to my place. Everybody was a swarm of like five. Cars. There was a swarm. So it was just like all of a sudden the party started at like five twenty. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome, world. <laughs> yeah. You guys said we can come over. So. We did say you could come over. That's true. Anyway, thanks for listening, everyone. <laughs> Yay! Oh my God. I have to actually stop this.